Hi, this is Kolat. And in this video, I want to tell you about inflammation. So inflammation is your body's response to repair itself when there is some kind of a problem. It could be pathogen. So here is your body. And suppose that's your skin and this is your basement membrane. So this is a bunch of epidermal cells and these are a bunch of dermal cells. A pathogen can get to your body, cause problem. Also chemicals. Chemicals can get to your body, cause problem. Also, uh, just physical damage. This is a needle, bam, damage. And lastly, the cells here, your, you know, epidermal cells, can go through death because they messed up. And sometimes death is not clean. Apoptosis is clean death, but if the cell goes through a dirty death, uh, necrosis, then again, problem. And when problems happen, your body wants to react to it and try to fix it and they go through inflammation. Uh, there are a few important major steps in this inflammation process. Number one, cells in the region will send the signals. These are the SOS signals, cytokines and others. And number two, um, there are blood vessels running and as this SOS signal is being secreted, the flow rate of the blood, so going fast, but when there is a problem, the flow slows down. Blood slows down because the blood vessel itself dilates to increase the flow area and the blood vessel walls uh, open up, resulting in the blood coming out of the vessel. So with this leaky blood vessel and lots of SOS chemical signals, a lot of things will get to this region. And there are three types of things. One, platelets. Two, plasma proteins. And three, immune cells. So platelets try to, you know, line up and create kind of some kind of scaffolding wall around this region. And plasma proteins, they are antimicrobial. Just in case if the problem is pathogen, then the plasma proteins can try to fight those pathogens. Uh, immune cells come in. Initially, the innate immune cells come, and then later adaptive. And these cells will stay within this platelet-made scaffold and try to move towards the center. And as they move, they start to clean up the mess, clean up the cell debris, clean up the pathogen, whatever. They will start to uh, manage the problem. And there are two important innate cell types that uh, do a lot of work here. One is neutrophil. And the second one is macrophage, specifically uh, M1. Neutrophils increase in their concentration when there's a problem. And the macrophage, some of them are tissue resident. They eat stuff and they display these things to other cells and eventually displaying them to adaptive immune system, facilitating adaptive cells to get here later. I, I talk about M1 because when this cleanup is over, M2 macrophages and also other cells secrete a bunch of factors around this region. And these factors are growth factors. And because of the growth factors, blood vessels can now start to reach the inflammation site to infiltrate all of this cleaned up area. And this process is called angiogenesis. Growth factor that uh, drive this is vascular endothelial growth factor and also notch signaling will help with this uh, process. But at the end of the day, immune cells clean up the process and the, when the cleaning up is done, the cells including M2 macrophages will secrete growth factor for uh, the repair process. And finally, I wanna talk about the difference between acute and chronic inflammations. Acute inflammation takes place you know, within days or weeks. And this is the type of inflammation we think about when we think about inflammation. So things get hot, red, painful, and uh, swelling. On the other hand, chronic inflammation, it's not hot, red, it doesn't swell, can stay for years. An example of acute inflammation is asthma. An example for chronic inflammation is arthritis. Acute inflammation is mainly driven by the innate cells and the chronic inflammation by adaptive immune cells. And finally, there is going to be a lot of angiogenesis in chronic inflammation. So you can think of the chronic inflammation as endlessly going, blood forming, cells coming in, repair process that just does not end. 